What's up guys? It's your boy Wings of Redemption. And uh this is a Moab on gun game. This is by Running to Zero. You can check his channel out in the description. He does play on dazzled quality ish. I don't know what he actually uses to record with, but it doesn't look this good. It looks worse than this. Um this is me basically trying to trying to make a uh, a put turd and my my brain's just hurting right now. This is me trying to put lip up uh, the fuck. <laughs> Fail. I should start start over. Normally I would start over here, but I feel I feel like it's going to go well with the commentary. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. That's what I was trying to say. Oh man. I'm gonna go ahead and basically talk a little a couple things about my day. Um, I basically went walking the other day. I actually walked two different periods. I walked um I walked a mile at house. In the morning and uh, last night about 8 when it actually cooled down a little bit I went to the market commons and I walked another mile basically walked around the lake and um, I was very it, it made me feel really good but today I'm kind of paying for it for walking because I, I usually do the one mile the one mile is what I usually do but the second mile really hurt me um, mainly because I pushed myself a little too hard and I end up rubbing raw in between my legs and also have blisters on my feet that leads me to a couple things, and that's going to lead me to the purchase I'm going to be doing today. I'm actually going to basically go buy those Nike Airs that I wanted before, but I decided to buy the New Balance and end up giving the New Balances away because they sucked ass. Couldn't stand it. They hurt my feet. But um, one thing I'm worried about is the Nike Air is busting out. I remember having like an air cushion before on shoes, and my weight would just pop them. And me being heavier at this point, I'm wondering how long they'll last as a whole but I've also heard that somewhere that Nike will pretty much replace them for free if the air should ever pop in them is that is there any truth to that does anybody actually know what how that works because that would be fucking fantastic you know to get a free pair of shoes because I'm a weight keeps popping them never have to buy shoes again and then they'll probably come and reference this video of me setting them up well okay it's not really setting them up I'm paying for the product and the product keeps failing me if that's the case but who knows I'm hoping to go and uh, do uh, do like an on-camera interview of my mother today, since a lot of people seem to be asking about my family. I don't really put them on camera. Um, the fact is, the last few years, I've been pretty much, you know, hogtied to a room, and um, I don't really get to go out and spend as much time with my family as I would like to, and um, hopefully I can find, you know, more time in the future with them. And another thing I wanted to talk about and basically ask your guys' opinion for was chiropractors. I've heard some people swear up and down by them, and I've heard some people call them, you know, urban witch doctors. Um, are they actually a doctor? That's the question. I know I could probably find this on Google, but I'd like to see other people's opinion of it. Do you consider a chiropractor an actual doctor? Has a chiropractor ever helped you? Because one of the reasons I'm, I'm wondering is because, um, like I said, this pinched nerve is getting worse and worse and worse. Like, I can actually feel it in my back now. Not just my leg and like my lower back will go numb at certain periods and so will my right calf or my right leg altogether will go numb if I stand on it for too long. And like I've even fell on a couple occasions because of the leg going numb and just I just lose all, all feeling or grasp and all feeling of it's there. And it's a really horrible feeling. The reason it's a horrible feeling is because you feel so helpless when you're just falling down and there's nothing you can do on it. I mean, I mean... I can only imagine what being like an amputee is like. I mean, I, I hurt my back one time on a trampoline when I was like 15 or 16. And I really messed the muscles up in it. I didn't break nothing. But I, basically, I just stressed the muscles really bad for my impact with the ground. <laughs> but um, I, I had to take like these pain pills there. And they really spaced me out. And I, I wanted to sleep a lot. So... Um, I uh, was sitting in the chair for one point at like 15 hours and and my back hurt but like my body was just like so frustrated with sitting there I just had to get up and move I just couldn't do it and like I can only imagine what it's like to be an amputee because just the leg falling out from under really makes you look at life and how things happen differently but like I said I walked you know it probably takes me 20 minutes or 25 minutes to walk a mile I'm by no means fast at doing it but I do it continuously and um my last that, that second mile yesterday made me pretty much be a knee knocker where my you know so it took me like another 30 minutes of sitting down on a bench to actually get back to the truck but who knows what's your guys 
What, what do you guys think about these situations? And I'd really like your opinion on chiropractors. What do you look for in a good chiropractor, if if anything? I don't really have health insurance, so I can't really go the, the route of doctors. Chiropractors are a lot cheaper. I don't know. Your opinion.